Welcome in the world of knowledge sharing. Today I am going to discuss the concept of x maxima and x minima without making any equations. Here the x is the intersection of three sets. The values are a 90, b 60, c is 80 and total is 100. I am going to solve this question or this concept under one condition all 100 elements are the part of these three sets. The x minima for the three set is nothing but summation of the set value minus 2 into total where total is 100 which is nothing but 30. So the x minima is 30. If summation of sets minus 2 into total is positive or 0 then our x minima is the value. Here it's 30 is a positive so the x minima is 30. If by this we get a value negative then x minima is 0 because in a set we cannot get a negative value. So I hope it is clear. For the x minima add the set values minus 2 into the total, total is 100 that is 30. I am repeating one condition. My condition is all hundreds are the part of these three sets. If they are not mentioning this condition then we have to work on few other conditions too. Now work on the x maxima. x maxima works only on two concepts. x maxima is always smaller than or equal to minimum value of abc. Here the minimum value of abc is 60. So this would be either 60 or smaller than 60. Then apply the second condition. Sum of three values, I will mention which are those values, should be greater than or equal to 100. If this condition satisfied, then x maxima is the minimum of abc. If this condition is not satisfying, then we have to adjust x maxima. Here in this question, this one is 60. The other two values are the only values of the two bigger set. This one is 60, then this one is 30, this one is 20 by making 90 or 80. Summation of these three, all and the only two should be greater than 100. Yeah, this is 110. If it is greater than 100, so the x maxima is 60. First, plot the minimum value among three in the all set. Then get the other only values, assuming all the values are 0. If the summation of three is more than 100 or equal to 100, then this is your value for the x maxima. Okay. We will do some other adjustment by this and others, but this video is only for the x maxima and x minima. Okay. Now solve a question where we are going to adjust the value. Okay. We have another data set. Here we are going to adjust the value. A is 60, B 65, C 70 and total is 100. Then x should be either 60 or less than 60 because the minima is 60. If this one is 60, then this is 5, this is 10. The summation of all three is 75, but we want 100. The deficit of 25, then the deficit is 25 divided by 2. Because we have to adjust these two values is 12.5. So we are going to work on 12.5. 60 would be reduced by 12.5 is nothing but 47.5. This one is increased by 12.5. The new value is 17.5. Then this new value is 22.5. This is the set for the maxima of x. Maxima of x is 47.5. First, plot the minimum is 60, then 5, then 10. Total summation is 75. Deficit of 25. Divided by 2 is 12.5. Adjust to 12.5. Decrease the all by 12.5 and raise the other 2 by 12.5. By addition, all we have 100. Okay, I hope it is clear. Now you have a question. After getting the question, pause the video. Solve the question and resume the video. Okay. Question is 30, 32, 35. Total is 50. Find the maximum and minimum of this value. I hope you have completed the question. Now check the answer. For x minimum, we just have to add all the values, which is nothing but 97 minus 2 into total. Total is 50. This is negative. So we cannot get a negative value. So the x minimum is 0 for this case. For the x maxima, among 3, the minimum is 30. Other 2 are 2 and 5. So total is 37. But we want 50. The deficit of 13, divide 13 by 2 is 6.5. Reduce this value from 6.5. So this would be nothing but 23.5. Addition of 2 is 8.5. And this is 11.5. So the x maxima is 23.5. So the range of x varies from 0 to 23.5 for this condition. For any doubt, feel free to ping
थैंक यू एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग